Hello everybody. <clears throat> this is Monday night. Uh at seven something. Maybe seven fifteen, sixteen PM at night. It is January the fourth, twenty sixteen. And I know I'm the prettiest sexiest, fanciest dress thing right now to let's just plum pedal full with the purple passion. I still got my sloppy, comfortable, long sleeve, warm, cozy pajamas on. And I know you can't see it, but today our meals, our lunch, and our supper was spaghetti, and I got spaghetti sauce all over me. <laughs> I'm a big baby when it comes to eating. Anyway, this is going to be a short one take video. Well, I say short, but I don't really know how short it's going to be. <laughs> Y'all know me and how I am. Okay, Mama, I'm fixing to try some more of the fruitcake or pudding. It's still pudding form. Uh, it's still firm, got some firmness to it, but I was hoping it would actually be cake where I could cut it into a little block. Nope, not yet. But I'm going to try it, and I got me a glass of milk here, too. Um, <clears throat> I woke up, we got in real late last night, about 1 something, might have been one thirty. Anyway, I didn't do any unpacking, and usually that's me, the first thing I do when we get home on a trip, from on a trip, I go right away to unpacking and putting my stuff away. I didn't. We were all so tired, I was so tired, I was hurting so bad. I took medicine and we all went to bed. So, I didn't do anything. I didn't put no videos up. I didn't make another video clip or nothing. So, sorry. I had to take a bite. And it still tastes good. Mm. And, um, so today, Woke up about, Elizabeth had to get up early this morning and go to work, bless her heart. So she got up and went to work. I, I think I woke up when she got up, but I didn't get up. If I did get up and go to the bathroom, I can't recall. I can't remember. Um, I came and laid back down, and I didn't get up to about 11 something. So that's when I got up, and um ate my breakfast, took my medicine. I worked on the puzzle a little bit that's there on the table. Uh, and basically, that's kind of all I did. After I got to feeling, I, when I woke up, I was like, my back was hurting a little bit. My head was hurting a little bit. But what hurt the most on my body this morning was the back of my neck. It ran down into my shoulders a little bit. But my, the back of my neck, it was so sore, so aching, so hurting, so painful. And I couldn't turn without it hurting. I can do this now without it hurting. But if I go a little bit further like that right there, it starts hurting. So, right now, it's not as bad as it was this morning. But I mean, boy, it was bad this morning. So, um, I didn't feel like doing anything. So, I didn't make no vlog clips until just now. Um, I did unpack my clothes and the dirty clothes and the Christmas stuff, unpacked everything, the food bag, except for my goodie bag at that point in time. Then, Albert had made spaghetti for lunch. He made, nowadays, we got we used to, it, it was just spaghetti, which was Albert's spaghetti. Even Elizabeth ate it back then. But then she got to where she started saying that when she ate spaghetti, she had indigestion real bad and hurt real bad. And she, so she got to where she wouldn't eat spaghetti. 
when Albert made it. So recently, <coughs> kind of recently, she uh, found him a thing down. So I gotta fix it, y'all. Hang on. I went the wrong way with it. That kind of hurt my neck when I did that. She found a recipe for spaghetti somewhere probably on Pinterest. I think she finds everything on Pinterest. Or somewhere or another anyway. And it had sugar in it. You put sugar in it. And she wanted to give it a try. So she made some and tried it and loved it. And it didn't bother her and hurt her. And, of course, I tasted it. And, of course, to me, I like that one better than Albert's. I never did like Albert's. I mean, spaghetti, spaghetti's not a dish that I just have to say, eh, and can't stand and not eat it all. I can eat it. And I have ate it before, but I have never ate very much of it. And every time he fixes it, I don't always eat it, you know. Sometimes I say, no, I'm not going to eat it this time, and I find something else. That's how it's been. Since she has started making this spaghetti with sugar in it, it tastes better. I like it better. So, yeah, I always eat a little bit. So, um, now when he makes spaghetti, she makes spaghetti too. Except for today, Albert had to make both pots of spaghetti. Because she was at work. She wanted a bowl of spaghetti for her lunch today. So, he made a pot of hers, fixed her a plate, took it to her, come back home, made his pot of spaghetti, and me and him, I waited for him all the way. I ate her spaghetti, he ate his spaghetti, Benny ate his spaghetti, <laughs> and we ate together lunch at the table, which was nice. And, um, so, um, we done that, and then after we ate... We both laid back down and took a nap. So I just woke up. It's seven something now. I think I just got up at five something. You know, the five something was really close to six. So then we ate supper and ate more spaghetti in there just a while ago. So now I've got my my um, fruit pudding, fruit cake pudding <laughs> that I'm gonna eat, and I wanted to make this little vlog. Um, <clears throat> got here, uh, see, I can't turn my neck. Anyway, <clears throat> while we were gone, the mail that Benny checked, uh, this package was in the mail, and it's from my friend, Audie, that lives in Mississippi. We are doing a journal letter together, so that's what this is. So, I'm telling y'all about it. I won't open it up on camera. It's another notebook like this. This this is the journal letter to my friend Sarah. This is to Audi. So, we're doing that. Um, and then today when they check the mail, I got this beautiful envelope in the mail right here. Anybody recognize, recognize this envelope? <laughs> Donna Day. This is from Donna Day. Look how beautiful that is. She kept saying something about her envelope that I wouldn't miss it, that I would love it. And yes, I love it. It's all purpley and pearly and kind of marbly looking. Mm, I love it. So this here is the ornament that goes on my tree so I've not took my tree down yet and I've got it plugged up yeah it didn't look like it in the camera ain't those color are they changing colors yeah slowly I thought they changed faster than that oh well anyway oh that hurts so I'm gonna open this and hang it up I did not put my um Take my ca my uh, my camera. I can't talk. <laughs> let me get my let me reach this bag over here. Oh, what I meant to say, you know, before we took our nap, I had a bag of craft stuff packed to take with me to Katie's, 
and you know my goodie bag I didn't unpack it before our nap so after my nap before I ate spaghetti with Albert I come in here and unpacked it I'm getting my scissors out so I can open this envelope because we're going to open it up right here on camera and hang up the little ornament that Donna made me and I don't know when I'll take the tree down I don't know if I, I know I want today tonight I don't know about tomorrow I hope I'm not cutting anything inside um it's gonna all depend on how I feel you know so this ornament I get to hang up for a little bit anyway okay All right, it is a card, and it says, Happy Holidays, with a family of patchwork snowmen on it. That is beautiful. I love that. Main Street Press, it says on the back, Snowman Family. Look at there. I was right. It's from original artwork by Debbie Haron, Atron, Haron, however you say that. Okay, now I'm gonna open that up. Oh! <laughs> I love what I see. I love what I see. Okay, now she's wrote a lot in the card, so it looks like it's almost a letter. So I'm not going to read that on camera. I will wait and read that off camera. Oh my, is there really a story in this <laughs> about me? <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's for show. Am I supposed to take that off and open it up? Donna, let me know. I'm not going to try until you get with me and let me know. Okay, so it's a little book. And on the front, it says, Shay's Christmas Story, 2015. And then it's got a little star dangling from it. And here's the loop to hang it with. And then it's got, you know, twine around it. The star's hanging from the twine. And on the back, it says, Made with love, the good kind. Oh, look how cute. Now, Donna... It looks like it would open. I don't know. Let me know if it's meant for me to take that off and open it. Is there really a story in there? Okay, it looks like I'm seeing the pages. It looks like they're blank. Okay, I was wondering if you'd actually wrote me a story about me in there. Do you mean for me to write a story about me in there? Or just leave it like that for show. Let me know. Okay? But that is so cute. I love it. Okay, now, check out... Oh, wait a minute now. Oh. Is this other piece supposed to be stuck on the card, Donna? Because it is. It's like right over the words, too. And I mean big time. I mean, did you put it there for decoration on the card? I don't know. Whoops. Maybe not. Maybe it's slowly... You may have meant for it to... I don't, oh, yeah, there it comes. Okay, maybe not. Oh, my Lord, this is just too cute. Oh, no, don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, no. A star fell off. Okay, I love this. This is so adorable. I love this. Where did you learn how to do this, Donna? 
Okay, is this supposed to be an ornament too to hang on the tree? If so, the thing that I think you may have meant to be the loop to hang it with is laying over on front and glued to it. Maybe you glued it there like that. Maybe it's not meant to use that to hang up. It's a reindeer, y'all. Look what it's made out of, y'all. Oh, I love it, y'all. Look. It's puzzle pieces. And she, I guess, painted them brown. She's got the red dauble there for his nose. She's got Google eyes. And then these up here for like rain. I love it. <laughs> and then this little thing. See here? What I mean, Donna, that is like, was that meant to come up as a loop to hang up? Or what? Let me know, okay, on that too. But I love it. You got to tell me how you did that. Did you just paint it brown? And then maybe put, um, did you use the puzzle glue itself to glue them together? Or did you use Mod Podge or something like that? Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. That is so cute. <laughs> I love both of them. Thank you so much. Okay, let me know about the hanging up of the reindeer, okay? But I will hang the book up. Let me know if you mean for me to undo this and open it up and write in it. Okay. Or if you just mean for me to leave it like that. <sighs> Let's see. Where shall we put this? Let's put it right here. Well, that's kind of good, have it? Unless I can make it. Okay, there we go. There's that one anyway, and I'll read the card off camera. So thank you very much, Donna, for that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, I want to show y'all what I got for Christmas from Katie and Marcus. I know I showed y'all a little bit on the clips at their house, which I know y'all ain't even seen yet, because I ain't put them up yet. I'm going to try working on those tonight, putting those up, and those will go up before this goes up. So y'all may be late, late, two or three days late, seeing today's vlog. But look at this big old pad of scrapbook paper. Look how thick it is. Man, I don't even know if I've ever had a big, thick pad of paper like this. They've always been thinner, or it's always just been single pieces of paper. It's called All Seasons 180 Paper Pack. And, um, it's from Paper Studio. And the border here is, is little samples of all the papers that is in it. So, but I'm going to do a, a fast flip through here if I can can y'all see it good that's the wrong way let's go this way it's not gonna be very good but because this book I like that one with the Christmas trees this book is thick and heavy I like the dots. I like that one, too. It's really pretty. The stars. Oh, my goodness. Those with hearts in it. And flowers and little dots. And the bunny rabbits. The bunny rabbits are cute. Happy Easter. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there we go. That's cute. That's one thing they got me. And then another thing. <clears throat> they found these stamps at a auction. Uh, and she said they got these at like a yard sale or something. And you can tell they've been used. But that's fine. So this is a stamp. And it says thank you very much. And I, she probably got that because I really like Elvis. Elvis is 
you know, I always went around, thank you very much. And I always 